क्रिप्टो और एनएफटी अनियंत्रित हैं और इनके साथ अत्यधिक जोखिम जुड़ा हो सकता है संभव है कि इस प्रकार के लेन देन ऐसी हुए किसी भी नुकसान के लिए कोई विनियामक सहायता उपलब्ध न हो किसी भी सूचना के लिए सपोर्ट एट कॉइन्स विच डॉट को पे संपर्क करें दो हजार में लगभग 11 लाख यानी 1.1 मिलियन एजुकेशनल डिप्लोमा महाराष्ट्र स्किल डेवलपमेंट कॉरपोरेशन ने लेजिट डॉक्स की टेक्नोलॉजी इस्तेमाल करके ब्लॉकचेन बेस्ड डिप्लोमा दिए हैं स्टूडेंट्स को एंड इवन टिल डेट इट इज द लार्जेस्ट ब्लॉक चेन बेस्ड इंप्लीमेंटेशन इन द वर्ल्ड फॉर एजुकेशनल क्रेडेंशियलिंग ऑन जो फाउंडर है एक ब्रांड न्यू स्टार्टअप लेजेड डॉक के ब्रांड न्यू काम कर रहे हैं वो और काम क्या कर रहे हैं ब्लॉक चेन पे टेम्पर प्रूफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स ला रहे हैं जी हाँ आपका मेरा जो कागज है ये पूरी तरह से ब्लॉकचेन पे ला रहे हैं जो कोई भी सिक्योर तरीके से एक्सेस कर सकता है और इंटरेक्ट कर सकता है तो उनको हमने ऑफिस में बुलाया है ढेर सारी कॉफी ढेर सारी गपशप और ढेर सारी क्रांति हाउ डिड यू थिंक ऑफ एन आइडिया कि मुझे ब्लॉकचेन पे डिजिटल सर्टिफिकेट्स बनाने हैं या कोई भी डॉक्यूमेंटेशन है उसको ब्लॉकचेन पे लाना है ऑल ऑफ वांटेड टू डू समथिंग इन क्रिप्टो और ब्लॉकचेन बिकॉज़ इट वाज अ बिग थिंग सो दैट इज द टाइम व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड हियरिंग अबाउट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एप्लीकेशन कॉल्ड आई थिंक इट वाज कॉल्ड ब्लॉक सर्ट्स स्टार्टेड बाय अ बंच ऑफ इंजीनियर्स एट एमआईटी यूएसए वेयर बाय uh this concept of issuing digital documents on blockchain was conceptualized around 2015 itself when ethereum was you know kind of conceptualized but nobody had done a practical implementation of it until mit then i was like okay can we do it in india whether this problem is there in india right and in india as you know the you would not believe the amount of documentations documents that are you know issued or created in india right let me give you some figures in india uh, more than somewhere about 230 million educational documents of importance are produced i would say 90% of the documents are issued on paper format right which is a not a decade old technology a century old technology wow. and uh, an extremely unreliable because yeah. uski jo shelf life ya longevity hoti hai kuch bhi ho sakta hai usko there are some fundamental problems with paper certificates and one is everything is manual and if you want to authenticate it takes sometimes some days to sometimes months right some certificates second is you cannot store them easily so mm-hmm. you cannot easily store them as simple as digital certificate and one of the fundamental problem is let's say i give you a paper certificate immediately you will not be able to tell whether it's a fake or not because unless you contact the issuer right whether this is an authentic one the incentive to forge a certificate is easy so because there is no easy mechanism to verify it right ah. yeah. and just giving an example last year i think there was just one forgery certificate racket that was caught in bangalore that forged somewhere about if i'm not wrong 2.5 lakh uh, education graduation certificate just one certificate which is caught now we can imagine what is the level of forgery yeah forgery that is happening that is un- un- unnoticed right taking a step back with the physical certificate you used to own the certificate correct correct even though it was issued by, there were a lot of problems but when you went for this web 2 kind of digitization what happens there is a centralized repository or a third party <laughs> who digitizes these documents mm-hmm. and you have you have to create a account in his this thing and you have to go you can go and access it correct but you don't really own the certificates here correct. right digitization has happened but there are a lot of loopholes how security systems are panning out every centralized systems forget about digital locker is prone to yeah they are broken right and digital locker i mean i'm not against digital locker digital locker last year leaked somewhere about uh, 3.2 crore account date um, you know uh, accounts Ouch. data yeah so i mean obviously the intention behind it Because is good na centralized hai data breach utna aasan ho jata hai hackers ke liye nefarious element exactly and the second fundamental as i told you problem is you don't own the documents you are mm. not the true owner of it mm. and now in this digital age it is very important to own the documents mm. right or at least have the ownership with a neutral party mm-hmm. rather than a biased party mm-hmm. so all this can be solved with the blockchain public blockchain based documents which obviously will digitize it but one of the fundamental problems it solves it's you become the owner of that particular document mm. nobody else can deplatform you 
uh, from your identities right these are totally digitally native documents mm. right so it is not depend on the issuer system mm. i me being a owner can i can give it to somebody else somebody else can build a interesting application around it how nfts are not just confined to open sea you can put it across Correct. somewhere else as well 2021 2022 mein lagbhag 11 lakh yani 1.1 million educational diplomas maharashtra skill development corporation ne लेजिट डॉक्स की टेक्नोलॉजी इस्तेमाल करके ब्लॉकचेन बेस्ड डिप्लोमास दिए हैं स्टूडेंट्स को इसी के साथ महाराष्ट्र में मुझे लगता है साठ हजार के करीब कास्ट सर्टिफिकेट्स गढ़चिरोड़ी जो डिस्ट्रिक्ट है वहां पे दिए गए हैं जो ट्राइब्स वहां रहते हैं ट्राइबल्स को उनको जहां उनके लिए कास्ट सर्टिफिकेट इज अ बिगर मोर इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट दैन इवन आधार कार्ड एक्टली बहुत मायने रखता है क्योंकि उनके जो तमाम डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट होते हैं वो उस डॉक्यूमेंट से जुड़े हुए होते हैं एंटरप्राइज और गवर्नमेंट साइड इज ऑन प्राइवेट ब्लॉक चेन अच्छा only 10% i would say on are on public blockchains and these are 10% exemptions are where we have implemented something recently you have we might have heard of uh, one uh, uh, up government police department has uh, started issuing the G- evidence management F- system fir, FIR on, exactly yeah, and so, polygon ke upar ho yeah yeah it's on a public blockchain and apart from that i think implementation exactly. that have happened on a public blockchain or mm. we actually call it web3 right mm. the majority of the implementations have happened on private blockchains mm. where i see very limited use cases i do not see scale right. so this is the difference but we are slowly getting there sarkar ki baat ho rahi thi cost se juda hua ek sawal i know arunima wants to ask you so she's right there kya arunima तो आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू अगर मैं कोई सरकारी इंस्टीट्यूशन हूं एंड ब्लॉकचेन पे डॉक्यूमेंट मुझे स्टोर करने हैं तो ट्रेडिशनल मेथड के कंपैरिजन में ये ज्यादा महंगा है या सस्ता है ओह द मनी क्वेश्चन एवर सो इंपॉर्टेंट uh yeah and i think i'll explain it to the viewers why she is asking this particular question right uh-huh. by by giving one example uh-huh. now consider your worst quality photograph G. what what could be the size of that 100 kbs g yeah so let's say you have to store if, if you want to store your 100 kb of photo on let's say your google drive G. what would be the cost almost negligible right huh. there is no cost it's correct. free correct. almost free i mean obviously google is bearing the cost of it but it is few not even cents mm-hmm. let's say you want to store 100 kb of data or your photo on ethereum blockchain you know what is the cost today these uh the num- the value will fluctuate based on what is the coin cost. obviously uh-huh. but it is approximately somewhere about 15 lakh rupees क्या एक सेकेंड हुआ गूगल ड्राइव पे सौ केबी का फोटो फ्री इथीरियम ब्लॉक चेन पे सौ केबी का फोटो पंद्रह लाख रुपए या सो व्हाट वी डू इज हाउ वी हैव डन वी हैव डन so we call it as scalability right how do you scale the system on a public blockchain as i told you one of the fundamental things that we do is so we do three things right first fundamental thing we do instead of storing the entire document i do not need to store the document i need to store it hash correct Actually. there itself no matter what the original document is i reduce its size to 32 byte okay. right which is a huge Uh, reduction in this next is let's say for example uh, a issuer like maharashtra mm-hmm. is issuing let's say 1 lakh certificates mm-hmm. in a, for a batch mm-hmm. i don't need to put all the 1000 1 lakh hashes on a blockchain okay. so there are various ways in which you can compress all this 1 lakh hashes into a single hash and what we have gone even a step ahead of this not only we can bash all the transaction that is coming from a single issuer think that there are 1000 issuers who are issuing this mm-hmm. documents mm-hmm. i can even find a representation of single representational hash which represents all these 1000 issuers which in turn is, you know represents all these 1000 documents 1000 oh, lakhs of documents goodness. so that's how we have found the scalability and even if we do this kind of comparison still you can prove the verifiability of that particular document on chain wow. without our involvement that's wow. how we have uh, got that cost so down so that it is even cheaper compared to your existing uh, web2 based solutions let's say for example digilocker issue some certificate to you uh-huh. now until you die they have to maintain this particular document just to give a verifiability right, right. if tomorrow digilocker service goes down right. you cannot verify that so mm. until you die or until your validity let's say 20 to 35 years they have to maintain this particular document right. and they have to keep on evolving the security and they have to bear the cost of maintaining that particular document and its authenticity right but in case of public blockchains first of all you don't maintain the infrastructure you issue a document on it you forget about it right the blockchain will take care of the maintenance you don't have to maintain it it's like issue and forget kya blockchain ka bhi down ho sakta hai depends again definitely there are a lot of blockchains recently again i do not want to pinpoint solana sure. has been down so many yeah, times so it depends on which blockchain you But choose ethereum reliable 
पॉलीगॉन एज अ लेयर ऑन टॉप ऑफ इथीरियम रिलायबल बिटकॉइन इज रिलायबल अगेन रिलायबल या इसके बारे में हम घंटों तक बात करते रह सकते हैं लेकिन क्रिप्टो क्रांति एपिसोड खत्म भी करने का वक्त आ गया है बट मुझे ये पूछना है आपसे इसका फ्यूचर क्या हो सकता है everybody says that it is very easy to predict the future but everybody gets it wrong everybody right everybody gets, gets it wrong. wrong did you ever imagine 10 year back that a normal laborer will be using a smartphone right now right. and uh, you know uh, watching on youtube it was impossible right. to yeah, imagine right ek kyc ho jata hai do yeah. second mein wo jo biometric imp- yeah, ho jata hai yeah it was impos- impossible to imagine i think uh, because internet is already there and this free almost free internet is available to everybody data packages so mm-hmm. so that uh, learning or adoption curve i think will be very steeper very faster mm-hmm. i i i can see that in 10 to 20 years i think majority of at least in documentation side will be on web3 so currently legit doc is in a product format which is catering to certain players now what we are transforming legit doc is from a product to a api first platform meaning not only we will continue to build services around our api but we can open up our api for others to come and build systems and on top of it scalable. infinitely scalable so this is what because we have practically achieved this for a, even a government client who issue caste certificates which is the toughest to toughest crack, crack mm-hmm. then i can scale it up for the entire world right. even for very high high possible applications right and let's say legit doc was to scale up all these applications for the entire world it is not practically possible yeah. so i i have already expertise in building this kind of ground up infrastructure mm-hmm. that others can come and leverage on top of it so yes no like the blockchain in philosophy to your own company as well that is where i see the future for legit doc and that's where we are scaling up our company neil this has been such an enlightening conversation thank, thank you so much that was an intense conversation aur aap description mein ja ke links pe click kar sakte hain agar aap neil martis ki company legit doc ke bare mein aur janna chahte hain switch hamari jo blog hai jo website hai uske upar humne bhi describe kiya hua hai wo kya karte hain aur kaise sarkari departments kaam kar rahe hain inke sath as always सब्सक्राइब कीजिएगा हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल को एंड प्लीज इस वीडियो को शेयर कीजिएगा तमाम लोगों तक पहुंचाइएगा कि कैसे क्रांति आ रही है आपके डॉक्यूमेंट्स को लेके दिस इज अंकित साइनिंग आउट थैंक्स सो मच फॉर वाचिंग क्रिप्टो और एनएफटी अनियंत्रित हैं और इनके साथ अत्यधिक जोखिम जुड़ा हो सकता है संभव है कि इस प्रकार के लेनदेन से हुए किसी भी नुकसान के लिए कोई विनियामक सहायता उपलब्ध न हो किसी भी सूचना के लिए सपोर्ट एट पे संपर्क करें